you know as a rise of kingdoms content creator here on youtube i get asked a ton of questions every single day you guys are asking me is this commander worth investing in or hey these are the commanders that i already have who should i get next or is this equipment set good what should i craft next what's the best accessory uh, but sometimes i get some really interesting questions and one of these questions that i've gotten a couple of times not just recently but over the last year or so is omniarch how do i stay motivated to play rise of kingdoms or omniarch i'm thinking about quitting rise of kingdoms what do you think about that and honestly it sounds like a totally innocent question right it sounds like a totally normal thing to be asking right like hey omniarch you seem to be motivated to play rise of kingdoms how do i stay motivated to play the game as well and listen i'm not perfect either okay sometimes i'm not motivated to play rise of kingdoms either but when you really break down that question you have to ask yourself why do you want to stay motivated to play rise of kingdoms like if you're not having fun with the game just go play something else and we're gonna to answer that question later in the video why do you want to stay motivated to play rise of kingdoms but even still we all know what that question really means it means i want to keep playing rise of kingdoms i'm just not having as much fun as i used to have in rise of kingdoms the question really is how do i get back to having that same level of fun that i once had with this game and some of you guys maybe don't know what i'm talking about maybe you just recently downloaded rise of kingdoms and that's okay but you probably can relate to this uh to some degree with another game i didn't start this youtube channel to be a rise of kingdoms content creator i started this youtube channel as a call of duty commentator and even before that many years ago i had an old channel where i talked mainly about pokemon and i've asked myself this same question uh, as i do with rise of kingdoms about pokemon and call of duty how do i stay motivated to enjoy the newest call of duty or how do i have more fun with the latest call of duty and i get that okay these games can be extremely addicting legitimately especially rise of kingdoms it's literally developed to be addicting in like every form and fashion i have videos about that on this channel if you want to know how lilith gets you addicted to this game go ahead and check that out or if you want to check out my video talking about how they encourage you to spend money in the game you could check that out as well but the tldr is that there's plenty of ways that this game is addicting okay there's tons of ways to get dopamine from all the loot boxes in this game plus there's the community right you have friends that you want to play with or alliances that you're a part of that you feel some sort of obligation to and there's also the sunk cost fallacy where you think about how much time and money you've already spent on the game and you want that time and money to stay worth something and we're going to talk about the sunk cost thing a little bit later in the video as well but let's actually answer the question of how do i stay motivated because again this is a question that i seem to get quite frequently i would say maybe once a week or something like that and the truth is i don't i don't stay motivated to play rise of kingdoms at least not consciously i don't really force myself to like rise of kingdoms sometimes i will just log in and do my dailies and log off for multiple weeks at a time during those periods i will barely play rise of kingdoms other than the bare minimum for some key events like maybe holiday events or karak ceremony and things that give you some good value for equipment but besides that and dailies i just log in get it get it done and I log off and then when KBK comes around or when there's big updates to the game like when they introduce new civilizations or other big changes then I can come back to the game and I can enjoy it a little bit more because there's more to do there's new things to see and I just have things to enjoy but sometimes if I do want to motivate myself a little bit I'll actually watch other rise of kingdoms content creators for inspiration which I know sounds weird because I guess I'm technically one of the rise of kingdoms content creators but I'll go and I'll watch a Dragothian video or a legend Roni video or a Chisco video and I will try to find ways on you know how these people are playing the game maybe a little bit differently than me or people these people have maybe slightly different recommendations on how to use different commanders and I'll watch their content and try and figure out ways that opt I can optimize my own account here in rise of kingdoms or sometimes I will do research for new videos right I've made a few videos here on the channel where I talk about how rise of kingdoms reached two billion dollars in uh, in total sales or how I make the videos uh, making fun of the rise of kingdoms ads right I go through all the research 
experts there to find the ads and to find the data for the game or even the videos where i tell you who the most powerful players in the game are those are videos that require a little bit more research on my end and they're not just me staring at the commander screen telling you what the skills do and what the best commanders are those are a little bit different and it's just more fun to engage with the rise of kingdoms community and the game in general from a different perspective and honestly making videos for rise of kingdoms is really stimulating for me as well as a player of the game the original reason that i started making rise of kingdoms content uh isn't because i wanted to quit and that's what saved me from quitting no it's because i i enjoy the game so much that i like to share that enjoyment with you guys and that's again something that i've done with many other games in the past and rise of kingdoms is no exception there but because i like to make videos you know rise of kingdoms is a game that is constantly updating and it's something that i like and so i can constantly be engaged with the game through making content and you know forming a little community like we have here on this youtube channel and if you've made it this far into the video i hope you'll at least subscribe to the channel and like the video as well but despite all of that i still think that sometimes you're just not gonna be motivated to play rise of kingdoms and that's okay i like to take those small breaks from rise of kingdoms i like to call them soft quitting the game you're logging in you're doing your dailies you're sort of getting that uh, value but you're not really engaging with the game as somebody who's like actively playing in a kvk for example so you haven't quit but you've you've decreased your interaction with the game by 80 percent let's say and i look i think this is good for you as a player it doesn't have to be black or white you don't have to either quit rise of kingdoms or play rise of kingdoms it doesn't have to be one of those extremes you can take it, your enjoyment with the game can be fluid there's just going to be some times where you know if there's not really exciting updates and you're not in a kvk you're in between seasons you're not really going to be that motivated to play if you've already been playing for three years because you've done all the content right you've seen it all before three years in a row so there's just going to be times where you have those valleys of interest and that's totally okay so soft quitting the game during those times is completely fine plus if you force yourself to play the game and force yourself to be active all the time you're just going to burn yourself out eventually it's going to catch up to you eventually you're going to have to take a break from rise of kingdoms so you might as well just do it on your own terms do it when you're not really feeling like playing just don't play and look if you keep forcing yourself to play you're gonna miss out on other cool stuff too there's constantly new games coming out on your mobile device even that are free to play we live in such an interesting time for gamers that like you have so many infinite options to play right now it would be foolish to lock yourself into a single game what if there's another new game that came out this week that you could be enjoying way more than rise of kingdoms but instead you're sitting here thinking well how can i get enjoyment out of rise of kingdoms and look i'm going off on a tangent so let me swing back to the topic of the video it's okay to take soft breaks and also focus on like real life stuff and despite all of that okay people want to stay motivated to play the game i know you made it all the way into this video and you're like okay omniarch but like i really want to enjoy rise of kingdoms like it's such a good game i just really like why am i not enjoying it right now and i get that okay trust me i get that more than anybody i've been playing this game since almost launch okay i want to have as much fun with rise of kingdoms now as i did in the past i totally get that and i think this feeling of wanting to stay motivated comes from a couple of different places the first one is that sunk cost thing that we talked about before we feel like if we quit the game then we will have wasted all of the time and money that we've spent in rise of kingdoms and you'll also probably feel like you're letting down your friends right you play with a community you play with an alliance or a kingdom and you're gonna feel like you're letting them down if you quit right but the thing is no matter what eventually your time and money in this game are going to go away the servers one day are going to be shut off that's just the reality of games like rise of kingdoms and luckily for us rise of kingdoms has actually had a pretty healthy development cycle so far i've seen many games try to clone rise of kingdoms over the past three years and they've never reached the peak of excitement and since then they've died very very quickly uh, and luckily for us rise of kingdoms hasn't died yet but eventually it will so the sunk cost thing is not that great of a, of an excuse but there's also fomo right fear of missing out you don't want to quit the game and then they release some really awesome new commanders and they're really free to play friendly and they also implement a ton of changes to the crystal tech 
and everybody all your friends are getting stronger without you they're logging in and they're getting their three gold sculptures every day from the login rewards and you're not because you quit the game and you're thinking oh well what if i come back in six months and then i'll have missed out on six months worth of gold heads for free i'll have missed out on all these wheel of fortune commanders that i could have been getting uh by spending with the gems that i'm gathering for free and now i have to wait for those commanders to come back on the wheel and i missed out on those and i missed out on the mightiest governors and look at all the kvk rewards that i missed out on and oh my god why did i quit the game i knew i was gonna come back plus there's all the value you missed from every single daily and all the gems and i, I get it okay I, I get it but by playing rise of kingdoms every day you're also missing out on all those other games that we talked about you're missing out on games that might be even more fun than rise of kingdoms that might have an even bigger community that you feel more at home with so no matter what you're missing out on something you know i think there's sort of a toxic mentality in the gaming scene in general where people feel like right now uh you have to have at least one game you need to have your game like oh i'm a call of duty player or i'm a world of warcraft player or i'm a rise of kingdoms player and you're a lord's mobile player if gaming is one of your hobbies it probably takes up a pretty sizable chunk of your time throughout the week especially those moments those precious moments before or after work before or after school or on the weekends where you just want to use gaming to relax so people like to identify with that one game like I am a rise of Kings player that's that's my game that's the game that I love to play and again making this part of who you are as a person is totally fine and it's completely natural this happens with every single hobby it's not just gaming people who like to do arts and crafts or they like to paint you say oh yeah I like to paint in my free time or I like to read books it's okay to identify with your hobbies and if one of your hobbies is playing rise of kingdoms or call of duty or world of warcraft it's okay to identify with that as as a person as somebody who enjoys that thing but it's only okay to an extent you have to realize that you clinging onto a game as part of your identity is going to blind you from the truth of when it's okay for you to not play that game you're going to feel less likely to want to take that break that you probably should take from rise of kingdoms because it's part of who you are you've logged into this game every single day for the past 900 days okay so of course you're gonna feel some sort of uh deeper attachment to the game and to your time spent in the game and to the community and the money that you've spent here but i think having a one game is sort of a toxic mentality to have there is no one game that's going to solve all of your problems and there's no one game that's going to be the best investment of your time and money it just doesn't exist games come and go all the time fortnite exploded in 2018 and then now it's still a big game of course but it's not nearly what it was at that point same thing with world of warcraft okay world of warcraft has been around for a long time and it exploded all the way up through the peak in i think it was wrath of the lich king and the game now is in a pretty horrible state if you ask anybody who really enjoys and plays the game so I think we all need to do a better job at realizing that we don't need to have just one game there's tons of cool games to play and there's also tons of other hobbies and other things that maybe you might want to actually do so in conclusion guys I think if you really really want to get motivated to play rise of kingdoms go watch some other rise of kingdoms content creators that you maybe haven't watched in a while or maybe ones that you've never watched ones that sometimes I find myself watching a rise of kingdoms content creator that has only a few hundred subscribers just to see what their content is like if you don't know where to find them you can join the official rise of kingdoms discord and there's actually a lot of people posting content in there that you probably haven't heard of you can also try to join other communities in the game join other discords where there are other rise of kingdoms players or even better you can go through and watch some of my older videos that maybe you didn't click on because I made a horrible thumbnail or it was too clickbait or maybe you were just too busy the day that I uploaded it and you just missed the video go back and watch some of my content maybe that'll motivate you to play the game a little bit more but realistically I think sometimes it's okay to just take a soft quit take a little bit of a small break okay log in do your dailies do Karak ceremony okay do the holiday events do the ones that matter you know spend a little extra time on those days but besides that play something else and you know make Lilith earn your time and attention okay make them earn it if you log in every day fully committed to the game even when the game isn't good then Lilith doesn't have to work on making the game better and Lord knows that Lilith has a lot to do okay they've got a lot a long way to go to make the game better than it is now so if you feel like you need a break from the game take a small break 
and play something else. And hopefully when KVK comes around, you'll be refreshed and ready to pull those all nighters, or you just wait until there's a big update. And it's like, oh my God, these new commanders are here and this new stuff is popping off. And then you come back to the game and you feel reju rejuvenated. You're ready to play and invest again, or just quit. You already lost the time and money anyway. You can't get it back. And in fact, the longer you put it off, the more time and money you waste. There's nothing wrong with that. There's tons of other games. There's tons of other hobbies. Replace Rise of Kingdoms with something else and give it a try for a little bit. But just make sure you stay subscribed and watch all of my videos. <laughs> with that being said, guys, if you made it all the way to the end, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss another Rise of Kingdoms video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.